Well, we continue covering Colorado first in a scholarship program designed to support Denver public school grads is getting a makeover. The pot for the Prosperity Denver Fund sits at around $15 million. If the original rule stayed in place, only $5 million of that would actually be utilized. Now, the Denver City Council is changing the rules so that more grads can have access to that scholarship money. Our Marissa Adamas has more on those changes. Well, the original rules of this ordinance were created back in 2018, but since then a lot has changed here in Denver as well as with the pandemic and supporters say that broadening these rules will make a more prosperous community. Hi. After much back and forth, City Council voting yes to make changes to an initiative that provides scholarship funds to DPS students. It supports DPS grads, those who choose a non-college route who just moved to Denver, who had to move out of Denver due to our housing costs. Um, because there's still our kids everywhere they go. Supporters say changes to the Prosperity Denver Fund would lift barriers that currently prevent some low-income students from qualifying for support because of where they live. The ordinance, as it's currently written, requires DPS students and alumni to live in Denver for at least 36 months to be eligible for funds. Policy and legislation don't always move at the same rate as inflation, gentrification, cost of attendance. On top of expanding residency requirements, the changes would also increase the eligibility age from 25 to 30 and would allow funds to go to certificates and apprenticeships and not just traditional college. It means that we can use this resource that voters have created to help more students from low income households access post-secondary, which improves their own well-being and it strengthens our local workforce and creates a more prosperous community. In 2022, about 61% of the funds weren't used because of how narrow the rules were. But with these changes, some say it will self-correct the issues to help more families moving forward. It's really kind of making some tweaks to, to bring the community along with us. Now, there was some hesitation on this bill from council members because it is taxpayer funded. Council member Kevin Flynn saying that he believes this should go back to the voters to decide. In Denver, Maria Sarmas covering Colorado First.